Now at noon, Tupelo police are holding a church safety and security event. This after some concerns from the community. And joining us live to tell us more about the event are Lieutenant Katasha White with Tupelo Police Department and Michelle Herford with Living Word and Praise Church. How are you both doing? Okay. Um, I cannot. Okay. Can you ladies hear me now? Yes, yes we oh, can okay. hear All right then. So Michelle, let's start with you first. Why is this a concern for your church area? Well, you know, so many um, church ministries, so many ministries in itself, we're left vulnerable or during worship, during our times that we come together to attend together, to praise and worship. And sometimes um, things happen unexpectedly. People wander in, you don't know who they are. Um, they're needing things. And we just wanted to be, make ourselves more aware of the dangers and the concerns that we should have in protecting our house of worship. We don't want to be just doing it and not aware that things are going on around us. So we thought that, hey, we need to do something. We need to put something in place where we can be protected as well as our members as we come to the house of worship. And for Lieutenant White, what is it that Tupelo Police will be offering? Of course, on that evening, and of course, it's not just for church security teams. It can be anyone that is a member of a church that would like to come and learn just a little bit more about situational awareness, uh, interaction with law enforcement, especially if you have armed security teams, you know, their interaction with law enforcement, once law enforcement uh, comes upon the scene, um, different things as far as, you know, uh, getting, uh, maybe looking at uh, later on a crisis management plan for them, things of that nature. And of course, Chief Joe John Quaka is uh, going to be our speaker that day, and uh, we definitely are looking forward to getting some good information out to uh, our area churches. Okay, now um, I know in the past we have heard about, you know, church shootings and things like that too, um, and we are running out of time here. Uh, uh, Katasha, I will ask you that this question, why is it so critical to be able to have safety protocols in place? so that when that situation happens, of course, you know it's going to be rapidly evolving. They will have a plan together so that they can protect their uh, services and their members as best as possible. Okay. All right, then, ladies, thank you so much for joining us here. And, thank you. And we will tell our viewers uh, more about this event later on. Thank you. Thank if you. If you love 